Welcome to Wilbur D. Rao Middle School Where the teachers are great and every single kid is cool Truly learn with a common goal We are safe, respectful, and responsible Home to math minds, some of the best readers Musicians, athletes, scholars, and web leaders Lots happening in this wonderful place And there's only one way to stay up to date So if you got a case of the sandbox blues Hit the YouTube, check the Shamrock News What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Not a thing that we cannot do. Growth mindset, it's the Shamrock News. What's going on? 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 Welcome back, Rouse Scholars. It's great to be with you on this wonderful Wednesday afternoon. I'm your dad. And I'm Gloria Borger, a.k.a. Lisa. <laughs> and I'm Vanilla Blue Raspberry, according to Silas. Oh, but I go as Melanie. <laughs> Let's kick things off with an update to our Everybody Reads Challenge. Welcome back to our Everybody Reads Challenge. It's the beginning of fourth quarter and we're looking at our reading totals for the entire year. Here's the yearly breakdown by grade. Sixth grade is that 81%. Wow, that's Excellent. 7th grade is at 92%. You guys have been reading so much. It's bananas. And 8th grade is at 93%. Wow, 8th graders, you're really making everyone hit rock bottom with the amount of books you've read. Staff is at 80%. Holy mackerel. staff. What happened to the amazing progress you were making last week? Yelling. And in total, 89% of us have read a book. I know you guys might not care at all. But the amount of books you read is great. I'm strawberry proud of you. This is the apple of my eye. This year the students have read over 325 million words throughout the school year. That's incredible. Maybe by combining the students and the teachers, we can get to 500 million for the school year, which is half a billion words. Readers. Monday, April 29th, 2019, is the Rao PT night at Chipotle. <laughs> Sir? <laughs> okay. Oh. Yeah, you. Washington DC is so cool. Look at all them amazing stuff. There's the White House. And there's the Jefferson Memorial. Whoa, look, it's the US Capitol. <laughs> this is the best trip ever. This year's eighth graders are getting ready to embark on their DC New York trip this summer. But if you're a seventh grader, you'd like to head to DC and New York next summer with Mr. Slack, then you should come to our first informational meeting. The meeting will take place on Tuesday, May 7 at 5.30 p.m. in room 103. That's Mr. Slack's room. So if you're a seventh grader and you'd like to go on the trip of a lifetime, we'll see you at the meeting. Tuesday, May 7 at 5.30 p.m. in room 103. How much fun is the DC trip? Very fun. It is fun seeing all those wonderful places with new faces. What is your favorite part of the trip? I love the New York Broadway play. I love the Lincoln Memorial. Oh, George Washington's house. See you there! Oh, look! Great students from Mr. Hayes's class, science class, gave us some <laughs> environmental tips as part of our new Supreme Green team segment. Hi, we're, we're part of the Supreme Green team. That's right. I'm here with Mr. Hayes's sixth grade students, and they're going to teach us about recycling. Hi, I'm Michaela, and I'm here to talk to you about recycling. Did you know that six ounces or less of plastic you can't actually recycle because it gets stuck in the sorting machines and it messes them up? Also, the average person in America pr produces about 5.91 pounds of trash a day with 
1.41 being that recycled, and 4.40 is the roughly um, average of <laughs> human waste. It is estimated that every day 500 million straws are used in America. And every straw that's used most time gets put into a landfill in the ocean. And when the straw biodegrades, it's left with tiny pieces that animals think are food and then they eat it. When the animals don't have enough room in their stomachs to eat any more food, then they will end up dying because all their focus is on digesting the plastic from the straw. It's also estimated that 380 billion plastic bags are used every day. And just as straws biodegrade, so does plas plastic bags, and that worsens the problem just as much. So try your hardest to get reusable straws, which aren't that expensive, and as well as reusable bags. I myself use both of them every day. Now that you know that you cannot recycle anything, any like plastic that's six ounces or under, then you know you can't recycle Ziploc bags. You might think throwing them away is a good idea, but containers are a much better idea that doesn't harm the earth. The earth. Help us save the earth. Hi, my name is Tabby and I wanted to remind you guys to not mix glass with recycling because when the workers are sorting through the garbage, they can get hurt. The MHS dance team, aka the Pony Prancers, are holding tryouts soon. The Milwaukee High School oh. dance team, aka the Pony Prancers, performs at multiple competitions and sporting events throughout the school year. You can see them at halftime of football and basketball games. And last year, the team performed at the state and national tournament. And they're looking for incoming freshmen to join their 2019-2020 season. The Milwaukee High School dance team will be holding tryouts for next year's dance team on Tuesday, April 30th and Wednesday, May 1st from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. The auditions will be held at Milwaukee High School gym. Please wear appropriate dance clothing to the audition. If you're interested in trying out, please grab a slip from the main office. In order to participate, in order to participate, you must have a current GPA of at least 2.5. Please email the coaches at milwaukeedt at gmail.com. The RBA is back in action this week. We've got highlights from the first game of season three. Uh, I think we're taking dubs, no problem. Uh, I think we're winning. Hey, bro, hey, 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 Josh, Josh. <laughs> The RBA started this past Monday after school as a part of the Boys and Girls Club. The Ball family and Smart Triple B's took on Mr. Dixon's sixth graders, also known as El Migos.
in the mixed grade, squad cash nasty, battled against the Butterfingers. Get your hand, hey, good screen. Final dance of the year will be held on Friday, May 17th, 2019. Oh, hey. Hi, is this Shamrock News star Josie Hoff? Yeah. We have a few questions for you. Okay, let's walk. When's the date of the dance? May 17th. What's the theme? Happily ever after. What's the time? Six to eight o'clock. Where's the place? Round Middle School. Will there be food? Yes, there will, there will be concessions in the cafeteria, and there'll be chips, soda, and water. Can I go if I have a referral? No, you may not have any referrals in the fourth quarter in order to attend. Student of the Month theme is Creativity. Our April Student of the Month theme is Creativity. We're looking for students who exhibit creativity in the classroom and around the school. This could be students with creative solutions to problems, no? Or students who excel at art and video. Students who go above and beyond with classroom projects. Students whose writing and poetry <laughs> shows high levels of creativity. My name is Danny and I'm creative. Yesterday I ate a sandwich. I walk around the hall screaming, y'all be creative. <laughs> okay. Brown Middle School will be holding elections for next year's MHS freshman class. If you're interested in running for student government, grab a packet for Mr. Dix's applications and videos are due Friday, April 26th. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah. My name is Press Boy John Joe, and I'm here to talk to you about an exciting opportunity for our next year ninth graders. That opportunity is student government at Milwaukee High School. It's a chance for you to be a leader like me, Press Boy John Joe. Student government officials work collaboratively as a part of the student government elective class. They organize events, set up fundraisers, and add positivity to the overall school climate and culture. If you're interested in running for student government, here's what you need to do. Grab a packet for Mr. Dix in room 219, the pod. Get a parent, sig parent or guardian signature. Fill out grade report. You must have at least 2.5 GPA to participate. You need also to get two staff recommendations. Be sure to tear the page off or cut it in half and give each half sheet of paper to the teacher. They will then submit the paper to Mr. Dix. You will also need to make a one minute long promotional video. These items are all due Friday, April 26th. Yes, 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 yes. 
Once you've submitted your application and you've been approved, you need to make posters to hang around your school to promote your candidacy. So if you want to be like me, press boy John Joe, I advise that you run for student government. Recently, the Day One Shamrock News team participated in the Pie Face Challenge. Let's see how wacky the Wilbur D. Challenge got. Hey Shamrockers, <laughs> welcome back to Shamrock News. <laughs> Today we're gonna do Pie Face. So how you play Pie Face is you put your face right here, and then you uh, spin this little spinner, and whatever number it lands on, then you have to turn this, that number. And so, there's two teams. I'm team one, and this is team two. Uh, there's nine people on each, so when you get pie, then you're out. Okay, ready? One, two, three. My finger. Okay. Two. No. We both got Okay. Two. Okay. Okay, one. I can't. Other way, other way. No, no, the other way. No, the other way. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Um, I thought ready? ready? Okay. First, second. Oh, okay. Okay. Four. Uh, yeah. I need to pull you yeah, back. Four. Okay, here we go.
I got four. I got. You got five. I can't twist this. Give me a sec. Okay. Here we go. Halfway there. Okay. Attention Round Middle School and Boys and Girls Club after school participants. There will be no after school program on Thursday, April 18th and Friday, April 19th. Welcome back, Rao Scholars. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> it's not oh, okay. Hey. <laughs> Like squat. Like, put it it'll in. work. No, it'll, 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 there you go. Oh. Did you know that less than six ounces and less, you can't actually recycle because it gets stuck in the sorting machines. I need to restart that. I forgot to say plastic. How do you feel about the game so far? It's going pretty good. All right, no one cares. Oh, it's right here. Oh. Oh. Hi, my name is Danny and I'm creative. Yesterday I went. My name is Danny. Oh, myself. Oh. Oh. Okay, we just have to put it back. You're up again. <laughs> 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 